The ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve originates from the medial cord of the brachial plexus, with root contributions from C8 and T1. From the medial cord of the brachial plexus, it descends along the medial side of the upper arm toward the elbow. In the arm, it courses posterior to the medial epicondyle within the cubital tunnel and enters the forearm between the two heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris. In the forearm, it innervates the flexor carpi ulnaris and the medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus, which controls flexion of the fourth and fifth digits. From there, it travels toward the wrist, passing superficial to the flexor retinaculum within Guillaume's canal. At the wrist, the ulnar nerve divides into superficial and deep branches. The deep branch innervates the hypothenar muscles, opponens digiti minimi, flexor digiti minimi brevis, and abductor digiti minimi. From the hypothenar muscles, the deep branch courses laterally across the palm. It innervates all of the dorsal and palmar interossei. The third and fourth lumbricals, the deep head of the flexor pollicis brevis, and the adductor pollicis. The superficial branch supplies the palmaris brevis and provides sensory innervation to the palmar surfaces of the medial one and a half digits, as well as the adjacent palmar skin at their bases. In addition, the palmar cutaneous branch passes superficial to the flexor retinaculum to supply the skin over the hypothenar eminence. The dorsal cutaneous branch innervates the skin on the dorsum of the medial hand and the dorsal aspects of the medial one and a half fingers. In summary, the ulnar nerve arises from the medial cord of the brachial plexus with root contributions from C8 and T1. It provides motor innervation to the flexor carpi ulnaris the medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus and most intrinsic muscles of the hand, as well as sensory supply to the palmar and dorsal aspects of the medial one and a half digits with the adjacent palm.